इंक्रीज इन एंट्रॉपी ऑफ ए सिस्टम इज गिवेन बाई फॉर्मूला डी एस इज इक्वल्स टू डी क्यू रिवर्सिबल डिवाइडेड बाई टेम्परेचर ना इन दिस फॉर्मूला डी एस डिनोट्स अ स्मॉल इंक्रीज इन एंट्रॉपी ऑफ सिस्टम DQ reversible this denotes a small amount of heat absorbed by system T denotes temperature of system so we have ds is equals to dq reversible divided by temperature reversible means the process by which the heat is given to the system is a reversible process so dq reversible this means process by which heat is given to the system is reversible now let us apply first law of thermodynamics we have delta e is equals to q plus w we can write same formula for a small quantity that is delta e becomes de is equals to dq plus dw so this is the first law of thermodynamics for a small quantities from here we can write dq is equals to de minus dw so we have expression for ds that is dq reversible divided by temperature now let us say my process is reversible so we have reversible process so we can write dq this is equals to de minus dw so ds becomes de minus dw divided by temperature now you may remember de can also be written as ncv dt for n mole of gases now in this formula n denotes number of mole cv denotes molar heat capacity at constant volume delta e that is de denotes a small change in internal energy and t denotes temperature so t is the temperature now dw is minus p dv where p is the pressure and v is the volume so we can write the same expression 
ds is equals to de minus dw divided by temperature and d is nothing but ncv dt so we will have ncv dt and this is minus p dv so this becomes ncv dt plus p dv divided by temperature so we can separate ds is equals to ncv dt by t plus p dv by t so this is expression for a small change in entropy so this is a general expression Now we can integrate this expression to calculate total change in entropy. So we can integrate both side. Now let us say initial entropy is S1, final entropy is S2, initial temperature is T1 and the final temperature is T2. Now in this expression, we have to remove pressure, that is we have to express pressure in terms of volume and temperature. So we want to express pressure in terms of volume and temperature and this can be done by applying PV is equals to NRT so P is equals to NRT by V so if I plug this value we will have the expression this is P dv by T so P becomes nRT by V and dv by T so T cancels So we will have nr dv by v. Let us say volume changes from v1 to v2. So initially we have s1 is the entropy, t1 is the temperature and v1 is the volume. And finally we have s2 is the entropy, t2 is the temperature and v2 is the volume. So this is initial condition. And this is final condition. So now we can integrate this expression. Number of mole is constant and we can treat CV is also constant. That is if CV is not a function of temperature. So we are assuming CV is not a function of temperature in that case we can write this goes outside integration sign and this also goes outside of the integration sign because these are constant so this is simply dt by t from t1 to t2 now n is constant r is also gas constant so we can take outside integration so this becomes simply dv by v from v1 to v2 
this integration becomes s from s1 to s2 and this is ncv ln t limit is from t1 to t2 and this is nr ln v limit is from v1 to v2 so we will have s2 minus s1 is equals to ncv ln t2 by t1 plus nr ln v2 by v1 so we can write this is delta s that is total change in entropy ncv ln t2 by t1 plus nr ln v2 by v1 So this is the general expression for entropy change. And this is given in terms of two variable temperature and volume. So we have delta S as a function of temperature and volume. We can also calculate delta S as a function of temperature and pressure. So this we will do in separate exercise. For the time being, we have derived expression for total entropy change in terms of temperature and volume.